Hello and welcome to another episode of the uh, NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Fight to the Top Career Mode. It's the final uh, couple races of the season. Uh, in the last episode, if you missed it, uh, we finished up the uh, Wheel and Modified series. Um, we have two races here um, left in the season. Uh, we're going to um, Truck Series and the uh, Bush Series at Homestead. We already um, we had to miss qualifying for the Truck Series, so we're starting in the back of the field for that. Um, because of the uh, modified race um, so uh, yeah like I said last two races of the season um, we do still have to qualify for the uh, Bush series so um, so let's take a look at the uh, point standings for the Bush series and the truck series just to see where we're headed um, into the final race so Kyle Bush is your champion um, there's no way in hell anybody could catch him on that he's 500 points ahead so um, Bill Lester, probably your champion. Travis Poppel has got to have a max point stay, and Bill Lester's got to be dog shit. Um, <laughs> there's no other way Bill Lester can lose this. It's really all his. It's it's his to lose. So um, I am curious where we're at, um, just to see if I actually passed anybody. Okay, so we're not last. Uh, we actually uh, are ahead of Richard Johnson. So now that, it, now that I've seen that for the trucks, I just want to see where I'm at in Bush. I know I'm not nearly as far up, but... That's worth a, try, a check. We are beating Jeff Burton. What the hell? <laughs> I guess Jeff Burton has ran like one or two races, but yeah, we're we're ahead of Jeff Burton, fifty first. Holy shit. Um, um, hope you all are having a good day. Um, we're gonna head over here into um the uh, qualifying for the uh, Bush series. So, uh, we'll see what we can do. So we're hopping over here into qualifying. Uh, car was pretty tight. Um through the turn so i ended up taking out some wedge um but the car felt like it had pretty decent speed i was running low 32s which i think is pretty solid for for homestead um especially in a one-star car but this access road is going to be a pain in the ass so i've already i've done that every time i've tried to drive on it but um <laughs> hopefully we can uh clean that up for the race but uh, right now, yeah, so uh, straightaway speed feels pretty good. It's just very tight through the corners, but um, after that wedge adjustment, I think that helped a little bit. So uh, we'll see what we can do here as we're coming out of turn four to take the green flag for the first lap of qualifying. All right, here we go. Don't hold back. Little tight through one and two, but no big deal. We're actually able to hold that pretty well. Um, I'm not really sure... Uh, if the top is going to be the best uh, for this or not, but we're going to try it anyways. But down here on the bottom, the car likes to get a little loose, so uh, we'll see what this uh, we'll see what this lap is as we're coming out of turn four to uh, take the white, and we are on the pole again. I think we've been on the pole every single bush race we've ran, but uh, we definitely didn't finish up there. That's for sure. Um, 32.06 was my time, but I'm curious if I can go any faster this ra this lap. Right on the bottom line, and we are plowing, so no, this is not going to be any faster. But, uh, 32.06, I'll take it. That's on the pole, so, um, yeah. We'll see what we can do in the race. Um, but we're going to head over to the truck race first, so uh, we'll jump over there and see what we can do. Oh, we have more autographs. Uh, I guess I'll do them. Um... <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Wow, that was a lot of triangles. Shit. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Awesome. Everybody, go fuck yourself. I love. I I hate doing autographs. Go fuck yourself. I'm doing them because I have to. <laughs> I'm just here so I don't get fined. All right, so I didn't get any practice in. Uh, this in the truck series, so we'll see what we can do. The gear ratios are fucked. Um, um, fuck. I knew that was too damn short. Yeah, I'm gonna blow my engine. I knew that was too short. Well, this race is gonna be fun. I'm either gonna blow up here in two laps or, uh, fuck. Why did I do that? I knew the gear ratio was too damn short. I knew it was too short. There goes the engine. Fuck me. Why did I do that? I'm just gonna let the engine blow now because there's nothing I can do. I, I can't go back and redo the setup. I can't do anything. So yeah, I'll just blow my engine and go fuck myself. God damn it. Why did I set my fucking... God damn it. 
I'm pissed. I said it way too damn short. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I knew that was too short. Well, we DNF. That's our first ever DNF in anything. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too proud of that one. Uh, yeah. Well, there's the end of the race. Uh, actually, I scrolled through there without even looking. Bill Lester's your champion, so, um, I guess we're just gonna head directly into the Bush series then. Yeah, I'd be pissed too. How did I get villain points? I didn't even touch anybody. What? Okay. Ow. Well, what? What the fuck? What? what? You're pissed at me and I blew up. What? What? What the fuck? Oh god. Oh man. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Uh, Jack Baker, fuck you. I didn't even come close to you, but I guess we're gonna go back here and we're gonna take a look at the uh, standings. Um, so, yeah, Bill Lester's the champion, so, uh, the Bush series is gonna be a formality, um, we're gonna pretend like that race didn't happen, so, um, yeah, Bush series is a formality, uh, of course we're gonna race it, why the fuck would we forfeit, um, oh wait, we did that in the trucks pretty much, alright, so we are on the pole for the, uh, Bush series, hopefully this goes a lot better than the truck series, um, yeah, so we're, we're gonna try and hold this hold these guys off we have a huge jump right here but as soon as we hit fourth gear i think that's where we're gonna start slowing down yeah um so we got a 24 lapper here at homestead we are pulling away down the straightaways so uh we might actually have a a decent run here to end this end this the only problem is i'm still kind of tight through the turns so uh, we'll have to see what we can do here but so far we come off of turn four. We are opening the gap up. We're a half a second up on these guys, so I'm thinking this is going to go pretty well, but we just got to keep it clean and hopefully not die. Um, but yeah, so far, six tenths of a second ahead. We are leading this race by a pretty, pretty good margin, so um, as long as the tires don't just absolutely fall off in like three laps, I think we're good. Um, car feels pretty good so far we are a little snug so we'll have to come adjust that when we come down for pit stops so uh yeah we'll see what we can do here so far looking pretty good i honestly did not expect to be this fast we're four laps in or just just crossed over for four uh lap four we're already a second damn near a second and a half up on these guys i did not think we were this much faster um i believe before i exited qualifying um, uh, we, we were the 30.0, everybody else qualified with like a 30 point, or 32.4 uh, or higher, so, um, we were about a half a second faster in qualifying, so, I could see why we're starting the, uh, why we are, uh, keeping these guys, um, at a pretty high, uh, margin, but, I think we're looking pretty good so far. Um, still able to run 32, low 32s, but honestly, I've been backing down the pace just, just for the reason that, uh, tires are going to fall off here with the right front, uh, being how tight I am. Oh, we're loose? We're loose now? Um, but yeah, we'll see, see what happens here throughout this race. The car really, really likes the top lane, and I don't know why. I know it's not quite the fastest, and it seems like these guys are starting to catch me now that I'm running it, but... This is where the car feels the best. I don't know why. I'm able to make this thing turn and uh, really don't have any problems getting loose up here, but I know it's not the fastest, and I just lost a half a second running it, but um, damn, man, it just feels so good. We're halfway on fuel now, so tires are going to start wearing pretty soon. Um, just now, now I just want to lead the most laps because I'm pretty damn close to doing it, so... Uh, I think we need to lead about three more laps, so should be able to do that as long as uh, as long as my tires don't fall off like out of nowhere. But these guys are starting to catch us uh, just under a second now. I'm starting to run slower laps. Right front tire is worn now, so um, actually we're pinning the bottom pretty good right now for some reason. So um, we're actually able to uh, gain a little bit of time off of four, so... We're still up here at the top, holding them about a second, but that was a terrible entry, so I'm going to lose time there. Right rear is now worn. Um, hopefully, we can... Oh, damn. Now they're six tenths of a second back, so um, hopefully we can hold on to this. Oh, we 
it got it got loose or did something there. It eagled. I don't know what it did, but it sent me up the track there. But we're still uh, running P1, about to cross halfway. We got two more laps to halfway, so um, they are closing. They're about a half a second back now, so um, car is starting to tighten up a little bit more. Um, we are still pretty quick straightaway speed wise, but through the turns we are losing a lot of time. So there goes the left front. The front tires are gone now, so that's going to prevent the car from turning really. Um, but now we got Mark Martin breathing down our necks, so um, hopefully we can hold these guys off and not piss anybody off. But we're starting to get into the third. Oh, we're loose. We're starting to get into the 33s, and we're just going to slide up the track and let Mark Martin go, apparently. Um, oh, shit. Kyle Bush is there. We're loose. Kyle Bush into the wall. Low fuel now, so we can go about a lap or two. Oh, shit. Oh, sh oh shit. We're loose. Oh, Jesus Christ. Damn it! The car just out of nowhere. It just oh killed him. Out of nowhere, it just started getting really, really, really loose. It was like that left rear tire worn, and then it was just all hell broke loose from there. I just could not drive it. But uh, that's gonna be a pit stop for us here. So uh, it's gonna be four tires and fuel, and we're gonna not do any wedge adjustments. Uh, repair the damage. Uh, actually, it's not going to matter, so we're going to do it anyways. Uh, yeah, four tires, full tank of fuel, and uh, no wedge adjustments, so we'll see what this does. We actually just crossed the line in, in first there, so we, we get the most laps led under caution, so that's perfect. Um, so that's ten extra bonus points, even though we're not really uh, fighting for points, but ten extra bonus points, I'll take it. Looks like they didn't fuck anything up, and that was a pretty good stop. There, oh, we just turned Dale Jr. there. There's a couple guys that stayed out. What? All right, so Dale Jr., we're racing. I don't know who that guy in front of him is, but we are racing Dale Jr. for position, so uh, we need to try and get around him as quickly as possible, but it looks like we're going to be able to with no problem. What is this lapper doing, man? Get the hell out of the way. What are you doing? Running the weirdest lines, but we're going to hold on to it here. We're going to dive into turn three and four, and we are going to have the lead. If this lapper can hold these guys off, that would be beautiful to gain more time on these guys. But lap 17 here, we got about seven seven more laps to go. So if we, I think we were able to hold, the, hold those guys off until like lap eight or nine, so I'm not too worried about this. I think we can hold them off for the win. But the problem is we weren't trying to hold off Dale Jr. before. It was uh, uh, Mark Martin, and uh, we don't know how fast Dale Jr. is yet, so we'll see what we can do here. But they're they're battling pretty hard back there, double file, so this is what we want. We want them to battle so we can pull away. So um, we'll see what we'll see what this race brings uh, toward the end of here, um, see if we can hold on to it. We've opened our lead up to about a second and a half with uh, a few laps to go. Why is the car loose now? I'm not complaining, but I'm going to complain if it starts getting loose when the tires go down. Um, but yeah, we are all of a sudden loose. Uh, I thought that the way that the adjustments worked, you had to turn it all the way down or else it was going to add around a wedge. But I guess they took out wedge, so shit. <laughs> um, this, game is, this game's wedge adjustments are kind of weird, so uh, still haven't figured out how, how that works, but... Regardless, we are a second and a half in front of these guys. We do have a looser car now, so um, hopefully when the tires start falling off, uh, we can hold on to it. But um, I think as long as we have at least a second or two on these guys, I think we should be able to win um, as long as the tires just don't fall off out of nowhere like they did uh, the last or when I spun. So um, we'll hold this top lane and run it. So it actually feels really good up there still, even though the car is loose. Into the wall there, no big deal. Three laps to go here in Homestead. Try and win the finale, even though we're not in points. But uh, we could get our first Bush Series win here, so this is going to be interesting coming down to the wire. Ooh, we got loose there out of two, but um, halfway on fuel. We're coming to two to go here through three and four. Uh, it's going to be two to go this time by... Car's starting to loosen up a little bit, but I think I'll be able to survive two more laps. We've got, a, we still got a second and a half lead over these guys, so I'm, 
I'm really not too worried about the car falling off, uh, as long as I've got some breathing room, which I do. And we're actually still gaining a little bit of time on these guys, so um, we're not running the fastest laps, but we're not running the slowest laps, I don't think. So, um, damn, we were in a 31.93, and I just noticed that. I don't know what lap we did that, but that was beautiful time. Um, we have a fast-ass car. Uh, right front tires worn down, but no big deal. Still over a second uh, lead on these guys as we cross the line for the white flag. Not too worried at all. We should be all good. Right rear is now worn, but like I said, we should be all good. Coming through two for the final time. Just over, or just under a second now over these guys, so I think we got a little bit of breathing room. Through three and four for the final time. Slow it up there really hard. Um, we are coming out of turn number four, and we are going to get our first career Bush Series win. Hell motherfucking yeah. Hell motherfucking yeah. I am so glad that we got our first win after what the hell we went through. That is going to help us in our contracts for sure. We should get some, hope, hopefully, some good contracts. I want to get some burnouts in here, but there we go. Now we're doing some burnouts. Piss off the yard crew. Um, yeah, we won the season finale, even though we weren't going for the championship. It is a win. Who the hell cares? We win in the Bush Series. Doing some donuts here, and we are solid. Wow, wow, wow. I honestly can't believe we hold, held that one out. That was beautiful. $316,000 in the bank. So uh, we'll head over to Victory Lane, and uh, that, we'll wrap up the season here. Hell yeah! Somehow I still managed to win, or to get 300 villain points. Uh, 85,000 fans earned, but I don't know how I got the villain points. But uh, that's it. That's the end of the season. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Um, you just had to remind me that I lost the championship, didn't you? Um, Bill Lester's the champion for the uh, truck series, and Kyle Busch wins the uh, Bush series, so... With that, that's going to do the do it for the end of the season. Oh, we got a shitload of contracts offers, so. Um, we have enough to buy a team, I believe. I've been answering my phone. Got offer, 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 another offer, another offer, another offer, so... Actually, I do want to go take a look at the uh, offers just to see. So we do have enough money to start a Featherlight Modified Series team. Um, take a look at the contracts here. So um, we got a four-star ride, a five-star ride, another five-star ride, and another five-star ride. So um, so we'll 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 come back. Uh, we'll we'll actually sign contracts and all that fun stuff in the uh, next video, but. Um, I do want to show you what all the contracts I do have. So, um, this is for the Modified Series. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, Craftsman Truck Series team. We don't have enough money to start a team there. Um, but we do have some contracts. So, we got a three-star ride. They've got the Mr. Clean Truck. God damn it. Um, <laughs> uh, we got an Outback Steakhouse Truck, uh, th another three-star. So, we've got all three-star rides uh, for the next Truck Series season. So, I'll take that. Um, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take the 106s ride, too. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, uh, we also don't have enough money, obviously, to start a Bush Series team, so, uh, we'll take a look at the contracts over here. We do have a one-star team, another one-star team, uh, so all of that is a one-star team, so, um, if we do want to go full-time in the Bush Series, we're gonna have some struggles. Um, I don't think we have any, uh, I don't think we have any, okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope we don't have any Cup Series uh, uh, contract offers, um, but we don't. So, um, yeah, guys, that's it for this season. Um, don't forget, uh, I do have some contract offers to uh, try and sign. Um, do we want to start our own modified team? We do have our own. We do have enough money for that. Um, we do. Uh, we do have we have uh, hundred or we have three hundred sixteen thousand. We only need one hundred seventy five. Um, I'm not. I can't remember how how the up uh, how how much the upgrades cost or whatever. But um, yeah, like I said, we do have enough money for that. 
Uh, we could get another five-star ride in the Wheel and Modified Series team and actually go for the championship, um, which I do want to do because the goal is to get a championship in every uh, in every uh, series. So uh, whether that's for my own team or for another team, that's uh, to be determined. But um, I do want to do a full-time Modified Series and uh, I do also want to do full-time trucks. Um, and I also want to do full-time Bush. So... Um, guys, drop a comment. Let me know uh, what contracts I should sign or if I should start my own modified to a series team. So, um, guys, with that, that's going to end this video. I'm sorry that this one was so short. Um, I had the truck series problems. I wasn't anticipating this on being this short, but uh, unfortunately it is. So, um, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, be sure to drop a like. It helps me out a ton um also subscribe if you're new um that also helps me out a ton um we've got contracts to sign so come back for the uh season two of this series um guys take care and uh have a great night